Get up. You'll take that thing out of my face. Get over there by those rocks. Listen, I don't know what you figured me for, but... Get over there! I just came in to get some water, that's all. Now you get up there where they can see you. Will you listen to sense? Get up there! Hey, you stand right there. You! Out there! Can you see him? The rest of you? You think that's all you had to do? Send one man in? Well, you're cowards! Come on! Come on, all of you, the whole pack! Because that's what it's going to take! The whole pack! So good, man. <laughs> ¿Qué pasa? <laughs> ya no huele a frijoles. Mucho frijoles. <laughs> <laughs> ya para el pueblo no necesitar. <laughs> ya no lo necesitar. <laughs> Johnny Yuma was a rebel, he rode through the west. Did Johnny Yuma, the rebel, he wandered alone. Johnny Yuma. Hey. What is this, eh? I not see him before. Who are you? What's this all about? You don't know. No, I don't know. Eh, no sabe lo que pasa. <laughs> I was on my way to Garita. Garita? Yeah. Yesterday I left the trail. Tried to shortcut it through, make town by dark. Night caught me up here in this mesquite. No water. Wandering three ways a Sunday, so I spotted this fire. There's no one else out there, I'm all alone. So it's you and your horse, huh? That's right. He's a good horse. I like him. Me too. Hey, gringo. Hey. You maybe like horse too, huh? For you, I make present. Okay? No answer? Well, <laughs> little time ago, it was plenty answer. You make a lot of talk, insult. Would make <laughs> even my mother cry. Me, all I got in my heart is talk. Where do you go? The horse needs water. Let him lick the dew from the wool of the sheep. Andre. Hey, 
You know, patron say, hey, man, by dawn, Gringoros and sheep offer the land. Or else, <laughs> under it. <laughs> <laughs> patron say, hey, Kota, that's me. Kota, I don't want no killing. But he don't want no sheep. Patron say his land is no for sheep. There's plenty sheep range across the Montosas. His land is for cattle in winter. Comprende? So, you, vamanos, eh? Before sun come up. Or you don't have shadow. <laughs> 20 pesos from the patron. If I don't got to kill you, it's very simple. Pesos for me, life for you. Eh? Give it to hey. me. Hey. Hey, score. Hey, mira, mira. Reno de oro con campana. Oh, campanas. <laughs> Give it back to me. Okay. Okay. Plenty time for tick-tock, tick-tock. A man can die with a watch on. Eh? Shoot them all! Eh? Twenty, twenty, twenty. Twenty. Sheep, you know have reason to stay. You must take a stock, eh? Oh, that one is nothing. He be gone ten miles like Bobtail Rabbit by the time we come back. Or else. Watch, four chimes, four o'clock. I'll be coming up around five. Give this an hour. If you head for those buttes, They'll take you back to your trail. The two over there with the peaks jutting out, like a man hunched over. I'll help you pack your burrow. Dawn, sometimes you can see it. The pines up high, bending low in the wind. Looks like they're whipping him. If you're still here at dawn, he'll stake you to an anthill. Let him. Let him. Look, you better move out now. It's a push as it is to beat that son to Garita. Boil a man's blood by noon. Mesquite. Sage and mesquite as far as you can see. No water, no grass, no shade, not even enough to cover a lizard. What are you doing out here? It's open range. Well, they don't seem to think so. It's free open range. Good for nothing. Look, when you got no not right to... Can... cattle or sheep or men or anything Look, else... Look, why don't you get out of here? The other side of those hills, about a... Three day walk, maybe four. Plenty of grass, water. You know what's up there. It's everything you need. Dirty, lousy tram coming in out of the dark. Well, stay out of here. Why? No reason you'd understand. In the middle of nowhere. What for? Dignity. Human dignity. You ever heard of the word? No, you never did, you tramp. Well, I'll tell you. If you draw a line, that far they push you no further. Then what? You fight! For what? What do you think I've been talking about? Dignity! Dignity. Dignity. 
A man fights for dignity, he lives it. He doesn't bury himself in some godforsaken piece of dust with half-starved sheep looking like a beggar. You're waiting for it, aren't you? Waiting for them to kill you. Asking for it. Why? <laughs> son on the eve of glorious battle, General Bayard Wares. Give me that. You're his son. That's right. His son, Lieutenant Abel Wares, 3rd Regiment, Battalion A, Lee's Army of Virginia. Hero of Dan Ridge. See it. All right. Danton Ridge lost about 30 men, expected to lose 300. Colonel Cochran, you ever know him? No, I was with the 3rd Texas. Lieutenant Wares will be moving out at dawn. We'll be taking Rutland, he told me. 3rd and 4th Regiment, Battalion A, they'll reinforce the town when we move. We'll come in from Batsville, across the bridge. Lieutenant Wares, you and two other men, you move out under dark. You take the creek bed up to the junction. Dawn, blow the bridge. We followed that creek bed right into a nest of federal pickets. They hauled us into that camp. I never saw anything like it. Time and a half as many men as we ever had. All fed and fat. Their weapons new. Should have seen the stir I raised. They'd gotten themselves an officer. You'd think I was General Lee. Then they dragged me into this tent. There was a lantern, a lantern up high, I remember that. Throwing light all over. They started questioning me. I never told them nothing, not even my name. An hour later, all I could see was the light from that lantern shining down on the bone on my shoulder where that whip had cut through my back and chest. I thought, what's God put in a man that can tear each other to pieces like this? If this is all man is, and he ain't worth dying for, no more than a hound. So I told him, I said, Rutland, they're going to Rutland. I watched them move out. Those feds, oh, they were ready. The bayonets shining. Night came and went, and then we heard. They didn't go for Rutland. They took the ridge instead. I couldn't understand it, the ridge. But then it dawned on me. My outfit never planned on taking Rutland. It was Ridge all the time. But if they can make those feds believe it, if they could send a man in there to be captured. No, not just a man. An officer. An officer would break under torture and tell what he knew. Any man would have broken. They picked me for a coward. And I proved them right. We talked about it. It was bound to go around. 
The last thing in the world I ever wanted was killing or fighting. You know what I always dreamed of being someday? School teacher. That's right. Maybe even have a school of my own. That's a picture for you, isn't it? The son of a general who'd killed half a hundred Cheyenne and Cree, a school teacher. It's over now, the war's over. Hope for some. Maybe for you. You, maybe. But not for him. Not for my father. Never for him. He wanted a hero for son so bad that he'd have traded my life for it. And all he got was a... When he heard it crippled him, my mother and my friends, they wrote. Oh, they wanted to make sure I know. But Linda, All she ever said was, how are you and when you're coming home? How long? 40 minutes, 30. To able my son on the eve of glorious battle. My heritage. Having much time. I get drunk sometimes. Bar laying in the streets. In my mind, just for a moment, you know what it does? Forgets. It does that sometimes, really. The war, my father. Then ping, ping. Every hour, ping. What are you doing? You're getting out of here. Nobody tells me what to do. Look, you're getting out of here even if I have to pound you to mash. Now move, you coward. Coward? Facing death? Those Jackies out there? What does that prove, Wiz, that you're a brave man? Yes, for the first or time. Is there something else, a way out. Of what? A frightened coward, so scared of life, of living with what he's done, of facing people he's hurt. Shut up! I'm staying. You hear? I'm. <laughs> Oh, yeah, gringos. You still here? Okay. Pretty soon I want to make 20 pesos. Always from my mother. Before you work, drink. Where's? In 63, a year after the Ridge, I was on a patrol behind their lines. Our lead was shot. They tortured the rest of us for information. But they wanted to know we'd never heard of, not a word. But if we had, well, the rest of the war, I kept wondering what I'd have done. War? You call that a war? That's no war. Texas, the Alamo. That was a war. <laughs> Where's? You've got to understand what they did to you. In war... Well, in war, we're not people, we're weapons. Each one of us with a different ability. Maybe a failing. Yours, a failing. You couldn't stand human suffering. But your officers needed that. A sensitive man who couldn't stand hurt. So they sent you in to be captured talk. Cruelty. To the other side, I knew there'd be that. But to your own? You haven't heard a word I've said. A battle was won because of you, because of what you were. Cruel? Yeah, it was cruel. On you. But what about the hundreds of lives you saved? A weapon of war. How big is a bullet, huh? How small is life? Where's... At home, you've got a lot. A girl. No, I couldn't go back there, never. And a lot more you're teaching. No. All that war is has to be taught. 
by people that know it. Not the glory, but the killing and the misery. I'm afraid. Well, then face it. That's the test of courage. It's the only way you destroy it. My name. They took my name from me. Then fight to get it back. How? Not how. Where? And that's back home. Where did pistols? He's still got some time. For what? It's up to you, Wes. I'll go. You go away from here? Across the mountain, huh? He huh? ordered. it. From him. Hmm? Okay. Watch. A watch. Phew. I give you life. You give me watch. <laughs> hmm? My mother be much pleasure. I have such a nice present. Listen, you. Shut up! Go to Cabeza. <laughs> I take care of you later. <laughs> <laughs> you don't give me, I gonna get it. Not anymore. <clears throat> Please, don't you? I don't know. I don't know. I'll get a rag and some water. I guess I'm ready. I'd ask you to move along with me, but I guess you'll be heading the other way. It's that first step. Second. First you've already taken. You know something, soldier? I don't even know your name. It's Yuma, Johnny Yuma. Third Texas? Yes, sir. Enough the rebel. John Yuma. This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production.